we are going to use Excel to obtain the line of best fit for this data that relates the uh, square footage in a house with its sales price in hundreds of dollars. For example, uh, this house sold for, if you add, if you multiply it by 100 for 200, two, sorry, $205,000. So what we would do first is just click here. You, you have selected the data and then shift and right and then you have all the data set here. So then we will go for insert and what we want to insert in here. We want to insert a scatter plot, right? Okay, just take a simple scatter plot. So it's right here for you. And if you want, you can just go ahead and uh, enlarge this. And uh, we can just, uh, you know, write axis title by just, just click here on chart design. Okay, so once you do that, uh, then just go to the add chart elements here are axis titles so you say primary horizontal so here axis title we can just say uh, our x is what the square footage right okay and you can if you want you can go ahead and uh, change the font size and all that right so then again, uh, we can just go to the vertical axis, right? And here we will say uh, Y is price in hundreds of, of dollars, okay? So there we, there we are, and we can also change the font size here if we want, okay? All right, so, okay, so here we got all that and then we have, sorry, I'm taking a little long here for you and our Y didn't come in here. I'll, I'll let you do that at your own time. Let's not worry about it. Now I went ahead and uh, fixed it for you just by doing select all and going to the font size. Now for the regression line, just you know, take any point, right click here, and just go to add trend line. So now it gives you a dialog box here. So you want a linear trend line, okay? And also you want an equation on the plot. So here is an equation uh, which, which gives you the slope and the y-intercept. I would go ahead and I can either do this like, you know, drag this thing along to increase the size, or, or I could go and go to the font size, and you can change this also, say format trend line, and for the trend line option, uh, what do I do? What I want to do here is, uh, how do I change the, yeah, here, the, line first of all we want the line style we want a solid line so here is a solid line and we can change the width of the line by just choosing width here so here is an equation of the regression line that you have and now say somebody wants you to do this gives uh, the uh, you know gives the uh, price of or use this regression line to obtain the price of a house, uh, you know, that's a uh, valued at, uh, or that's a has 2,500 square feet of living area. So how would you do that? You can do this. X is uh, 2,500. So just, uh, you know, just type in, let me increase the font size again. So just uh, type in equal to, and you have 0 0.6137 times 2500, right? And then you got plus 47.819, right? Okay, so that becomes how much? Remember this, that actually the price would be, in dollars the price would be, 
you just move the this decimal sign to uh, two places after the right. That is uh, what we mean is uh, this that the price is going to be how much? The price is going to be dollar one five eight two zero six sorry zero six and ninety cents because the price was in hundreds of dollars all right so let me know if you have any questions